Traders, welcome to the channel. My name is John. We trade stocks and options here. And today I'm going to show you really quickly how to do some scanning for stocks that you can trade with Stock Hacker that is in Thinkorswim. So, really powerful tool, pretty nice. Uh, you can see right now I'm in the chart section in Thinkorswim. I got the VIX up, and you'll see uh, we are still holding tight here on this uh, $20 price level on VIX. So, I'm expecting volatility uh, probably in the next couple weeks. And we're going to have a new president coming in, and uh, it is fireworks. So nonetheless, let's really quickly check this out. Uh, you can see my mouse chart section. There's scan, and this is where stock hacker, option hacker is. I'll do it again so you can see it at the top. Scan, just click it. And in here, there's other ways to do spreads, option hacker, or stock hacker. And from here, what I'm gonna do is, uh, let's see if I can change this scan just a little bit. Uh, we're gonna scan all stocks, and you can actually go off a watch list that you might have too. So, you know, if you've set up watch lists and you wanna keep a scan between them to maybe see if something's moved big or if there's conditions that sort of fit your needs, go for it. Uh, on the right side here, I'm actually going to add a condition group and let's do this, boom. Uh, click plus to add a filter in this group. So I'm gonna go with stocks. So on the right here, you added a filter, and the type is gonna be stocks, but check this out. I'll add one more just for fun. And pretty neat, you can do like fundamentals or say a pattern or study. You know, if you're looking for maybe a type of metric with a crossover, MACD, RSIs, Anything like that is really cool. It'll start popping up for you and you can do scans that way. Uh, so if you are more of a technical chartist and you like to go off of certain indicators, that's something you can do too. Or if you like fundamentals and you wanna look at say book value, dividend ratios, payouts, uh, EPS, all that stuff, it's pretty neat. So something to consider. And what I like too on the right side, right next to the add filter, you can actually change conditions, uh, remove conditions, but the one above it, you can save these queries, scans, but also you can be alerted when the scan results change. So this thing can actually scan in the background and it can tell you, hey, you know, something now triggered in your, your ADX scan or something like that. So pretty neat, something to consider. But uh, let's go back to a really quick and easy one I do to find anything that's moved big uh, throughout the day so as I go to stock we're gonna go let's say volume um, and usually you want something with pretty high volume so you can go to say 500 800,000 a million shares traded whatever that works for me I'm gonna add another filter and let's do stock again and I will make this a move so let's say percentage change if this thing has moved a lot that's what I wanna know about. So I'm gonna actually move this around again and we'll say, let's say like a 15% move or higher, you know, that would be nice. So you'll see on the slider there, I can change the maximum value too. If something's gone up that high, I hope I own it at, you know, 4 million percent or whatever. So let me change this to 15 and we'll go from there. And next, let's add one more filter and let's click on options and I'll show you that. But you can see here, it'll show you the matches already. So this is kind of neat. You can already start filtering and you'll see, okay, I get like 2,600 stocks here from my first filter, 880 from the next, and it just kind of starts to sort them eventually. Uh, but with options, you can sort by say like maybe Delta, if something's changed, return on risk, volume is a key one, or open interest. Open interest is where if there's a bunch of open orders sitting and waiting, uh, that will show you that at least there's interest in creating a market. Unfortunately, sometimes that doesn't actually mean volume because most of those orders may not fill if they're far out of the money. So that is another thing to, or if they're, actually I don't wanna say far out of the money, apologize but if they are beyond the bid ask spread or beyond what the market maker wants for that trade. So nonetheless, let's go to volume. You know, usually it's nice to see something with a lot of contracts traded. Uh, for the sake of this, you know, let's start paring these down a little bit. Um, yeah, whatever. Let's say 100 or 10,000 matches, boom. And as I click scan, it's now gonna do that and it's gonna show me these stocks 
uh, I don't know, for fun, let's make it like say 200, 1,000 stocks to show me. And you can see we get a list of uh, 21. And I can start to change these by like say the volume or so. I can see that CNET had a very big day, 65% but it's a really low trading stock. So I mean, it tr trades at like $3 a share. Something like Baidu had a great day. So, you know, that's something to look at there. Maybe we can see how the options action is trading there. Riot, Blockchain, Mara, you know, these are all Bitcoin related ones uh, or blockchain related, but let's be real, it's Bitcoin for now. Uh, and so that's kind of neat. Another thing we can do to change this, you can always save. So as I click up here, you can save your scan query and then load it and those become like your personals and all that stuff but I'm going to now switch this let's go to the negatives I want to see something that's like negative uh, you know that's dropped from say minus 10 let's see if there's something that's had like a 10% drop 10.6 uh, boom so we're gonna get a list of now big droppers ones that have moved lower and maybe this might present some opportunities for trading options too. So something to consider. I hope that was helpful. Uh, please feel free to subscribe. You're gonna get quality content multiple times a week. And I like to show you how to create income from options trading. And for my personal strategy, I then separate that income uh, to make more speculative bets, more long-term bets, and for general income. So nonetheless, I hope you have a great rest of the day. Take it easy. Peace. Bye-bye.